the ruins of Castle Blackstone sit upon. So many weird noises around us. What's the castle you're... You're gonna need to walk backwards, Jared? Yeah. Oh my God, it is. Oh, <gasps> that. What was that? I would actually <laughs> my pants. That would be sick. Do you hear a weird noise then? Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Today I am checking out the former site of Castle Blackstone in Queensland, Australia. This area is thought to be extremely haunted and I will be returning tonight to conduct a paranormal investigation too, so stay tuned. High on a hill overlooking Ipswich, Queensland lies the ruins of Castle Blackstone. This once magnificent mansion was doomed to meet destruction being built over fertile ground for mining. It was built in 1891 and only lasted 50 years before being demolished. Now, Blackstone Hill has been marked with reminders of the property, its past, and even fought to contain its ghosts. Many people have claimed to sight the building sitting atop the hill, despite it no longer existing. Others claim that the former owners, Lewis Thomas and his wife, continue to haunt the area where they once lived. Tonight, we head to Castle Blackstone to investigate these paranormal claims. Oh, so there's really not a lot of this place left. There's literally none of the castle. We do have a water tank though that is left and a little creepy fact about this is the water was actually pumped up from a place called Coffin Holes, which was a reserve down below. And yeah, you can't really see a lot of it. There's a couple of stairs uh, left over here as well. So we might go down and explore that area. But yeah, this place is really like wiped out. So I'm just going up some of the stairs that are left here from the ruin from the 1890s. And yeah, there's really not a lot left, but it's still really cool to see and I'm glad we made it up here. It is so hot today though and the hike like just about killed me <laughs> but I'm glad that we did get to come up here. All right because it is absolutely sweltering and there's really not that much to see here we're gonna go and come back a little bit later tonight when it's dark to start our paranormal investigation. We made it back to the car. How hot is it, Jared? Really, really hot. <laughs> so we're like just cranking the AC in the car. But like as we were walking down the very last hill to the car, obviously I stack it. So I fell, I've got dirt all over me. And I hurt my foot pretty bad. That's why you shouldn't hike in fongs. I don't learn. All right guys, we just made it back to Blackstone Hill where the ruins of Castle Blackstone sit upon. And we're just starting the hike up, which is kind of like, <sighs> but we think we found a shortcut. We're just gonna take it. We don't actually know that it leads up to the same place the other trail did, but I'm down for a gamble. Hopefully we don't get lost and have to turn back or something crazy in the, the night. Let's go. Oh man, it's quite a hike. I friggin' love this case of all my new gear and stuff, but damn, it's heavy. <laughs> what was that? I did hear it. <sighs> Maybe kangaroos or something? There's gotta be. There's definitely animals up here. Oh my god, look at the moon as well. It's a full moon. Oh, whoa. Gone behind the clouds. Okay. That's perfectly eerie. I think you have a spiderweb hanging off your torch as well, Joe. What? <laughs> Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Just keep moving. <laughs> Guys, we have made it all the way up to the hill. That shortcut totally worked out. I don't know what we were doing earlier today, <laughs> but it wasted a lot of our time in the hot, hot sun. Right now, I am standing on the former site 
of Castle Blackstone. Like this castle used to sit right here. How cool is that? I've just, I wish there was a little bit more to show you guys. Like all that is really left is what I showed you earlier today. So those stairs and the little water tank. But I tell you what, I am still a little bit like scared being in this area. And there's something over here that kind of freaks me out a little bit. So there's a lot of these signs here warning gas emissions and now I know that there was actually quite a bit of mining in this hill even under right directly underneath Castle Blackstone there was mining and I don't know if what kind of issues these gas emissions can cause but it does make me wonder like have people been seeing stuff because gas coming out of the ground and it's like messing with their heads like one of the ghostly um, reports here is that people still kind of see the site of the castle sitting up on the hill which is kind of trippy but you know maybe if you're breathing in a bunch of gas I don't know although this castle doesn't really stand here anymore it's still a cool hike if anyone's ever in like the Ipswich Queensland sort of area they have a lot of these info parks here so this actually shows part of the castle I guess and this is actually the castle's interior and although it's you know called the castle as the locals say Brynifred was like the name of it I guess and what is really cool is although it's been demolished a lot of the uh, materials that we used to build the castle have actually been used in the local community to build other buildings and I'm pretty sure that I heard one of the doors of the castle is actually now the door for the local church at the bottom of the hill so I reckon that's pretty cool. So many weird noises around us. We're actually going to go for a bit of a walk down to the staircase in the water tank. Basically all that's left of the castle um, that we sent earlier today. And just take a look in the dark. I am taking my thermal um, imaging camera. We might use that down there. See if there's any weird stuff around. So the water tank's just down here guys. It actually looks like some weird like UFO thing. <laughs> so one of the interesting things about the ghost story here is that the Thomases, the couple who owned and built Castle Blackstone haunt the area. I don't know if it's said that they still have hung around since their castle is gone. It's kind of interesting to think if they are still here, like do you think a ghost would remain if their house has been demolished? or moved or where do they go after that like are they really going to hang around to haunt their water tank or let me know in the comments it's interesting thought uh, to ponder these are like animal droppings right i'd say possum if i had to guess why don't you pick one up jared and see if it's warm and fresh hell no <laughs> I don't know, do they have like woodpeckers here or something? Sound like a woodpecker. I've never heard of one of them in Australia though. Yeah, me neither. So currently guys, we are in Queensland, Australia. We're actually from South Australia. I don't know that we have any native woodpeckers though. Definitely sounded like one. If anyone knows and you heard that noise, let us know in the comments. <laughs> oh no, it's like little birds or something. What is it? Can you see on the camera? Yeah, they're like kookaburras or something. I think they're kookaburras. Oh, they are too. I didn't know they hung out together. All right, I'm going to get rid of the light, not to annoy them anymore. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm pretty sure we figured out what that noise was. There's like a couple of kookaburras sleeping up in that tree up there all together all nestled up together which is kind of cute even though I'm scared of birds like you know <laughs> but uh, they were probably making that noise like I don't know what exactly they were doing but it, the noise is coming from where they are so I'm actually gonna try and use my thermal imaging camera I'm just gonna look around and see if we see anything abnormal or also if there's like any critters out there that this thing can pick up because I'm just curious, you know See what if I mean? you can see those birds. Yeah. 
Okay, so everything here is about like 21, 22 degrees. So the birds are... Man, it's going psycho colours. Try coming down here. The birds went in that tree, they were in... Oh, well, I can't see. I have... They're right there. See where I'm pointing my thing? Yeah. Can you see them? And it's like, I think I'm pointing at them, but... Why don't you come down here, you get a better view. Alright, well there's Jared. Oh my god, I'm totally going to stack it down this hill. Okay. Kookaburras. Oh, I can hear them again. Well, I'm just going to look around in the bush around me. How's that? I actually think I'll freak out if there's something, no. What's that big bright thing? Where? There. There? Is that the... That's not the water tank, is it? Could be. Let's go have a look. Can you shine the torch out? Oh my god, it is. So the water tank's out. Can we see the stairs? Hell yeah, you can see the stairs. Whoa, the stairs look freaky on the thermal camera. That looks cool. Imagine if we just seen a figure walk down them. I would actually <laughs> my pants. That would be sick. You can kind of see trees as well. I feel just like the predator. <gasps> kind of sounds like the predator. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the predator. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to walk up the stairs because it actually looks pretty cool. So it's so weird just to walk up and I'm just guided by this thermal image here. And it was, it was so hot today that you, these, I don't know if this is clay or what these bricks are made out of. Well, <laughs> but they would just be holding in the heat. It's hard to see things like figures and stuff on here. I can see you. <laughs> Oh, whatever that is, is hot. Is it that log? Yep, that's a stump. <laughs> that's hot, baby. Alright. Oh no, that got, that's the, the dome you're looking at. Oh, is at. it? Oh, I just stopped recording. Tank. Well, that was pretty cool, guys. Like, I hope that you guys like this new device. It's kind of fun. I think we should go more up towards where the actual castle was, though. And maybe we'll try and reach out there. All right, so the first thing I really want to do up here is a spirit box. I don't know why, I just feel like that is an easy way for spirits to talk to us and communicate with us directly. But before I get started, I'm just going to flick the K2 meter on and just go for a little walk around and see if we get any fluctuations. This was the area where the castle was, so I mean, who knows what kind of energy is still here. So if these light up, it... Um, basically means that there is a fluctuation in the electromagnetic field around the device and some people believe that could signify the presence of a spirit. Hi, my name is Amy. I've come here with Jared. If there's any spirits around left over from the days of Castle Blackstone, can you please walk on over to us? We would love to know that you're here. If you walk towards this green light in my hand, we might be able to see that you're here with us and that would be greatly appreciated. Please don't be shy. Did you hear a weird noise then? Was that you? Some sort of a bird, maybe. So many like weird things out in the bush. We came up here because we know that this was the site of. Is that a spider web? 
Okay, yeah. you're gonna need to walk backwards, Jared. Uh. Okay, come this way. We'll go around. <laughs> Alright, we haven't got anything yet through on this, but I'm gonna start rolling with a spirit box and see if we get anything cool. Alright guys, I've just I've just got my um, spirit box out and I've also, I've left the K2 meter on, I've just put it at our feet. I mean, if anybody is around and wants to join us, don't be shy to come and stand next to us. If you come towards this green light on the floor here, we might be able to see that you're around. I am going to turn on a device that could potentially help you talk to us. If you can come close to me and try and use our energy and use this device, maybe you are able to speak to us and we would greatly appreciate that. My name is Amy and I've come here with Jared and we would love to talk to anyone from the Thomas family, maybe even Lewis himself. Is anyone still here? Can you come forward and say hello to us? Anne, are you here? Maybe there's, maybe there's other people here. If there is, can you come towards me and tell me what your name is? Was this a place that you lived or did you work here? Sound like a different language almost. Do you not feel like talking to us? If you don't, just let me know and we can go. Hey, thank you. Okay, so there's definitely a few like snippets of words or voices that came through them. Nothing that I heard that seemed really like, wow, like I understood that really clearly in the moment, but I always love to review this. If you guys heard anything interesting, always leave me a comment. The most interesting thing that I heard was there was one lady's voice that sounded kind of foreign, like they were speaking a different language. I mean, obviously I have to listen to that back. It could have just been something weird that my brain just misconstrued or whatever. But yeah, it was an interesting session. All right guys, so I'm just gonna hit record on a ghost tube session now. So of course you guys will see the readings come up on the bottom of the screen. Now Jared actually started one of these without telling me why I was doing the spirit box. Um, and it actually said, uh, what did it say? Please leave or? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Was leave the castle alone. your, what's that? Leave me alone, ghost tube just said. Was leave the castle alone. your? Was the castle your... So maybe that's why we didn't get many spirit box responses. I don't know. Who knows? Always, it could be a random anomaly. You know, this. Some weird bug rattling on in this bush back here. Now, if there is anybody up here who stayed on this hill from Castle Blackstone, and I mean, maybe you're on this hill from for some other reason. You're not associated with the castle. And you want to talk, don't be shy to come towards us. Give us a sign that you're here. Maybe show yourself to us. Maybe you can come towards these lights that are in my hands. It would be amazing to know your name. There is a plane going overhead right now. Can you tell me how old you are? It's gone eerily peaceful here, hey? It was actually a lot more windy and wild during the day when we hiked up. Can you tell me your name? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Says it really weird. Jacqueline. Is that your name? 
Evelyn. Evelyn. I think it's just having fun with it. Yeah. Jacqueline. Evelyn. Jacqueline. Evelyn. I mean, I did ask what is your name. I got two names. The way that this works, guys, is it picks name or words, could also be a name, out of a database based on changes in the electromagnetic field, which some people, you know, believe spirits can manipulate. And whilst we've had some relevant responses come through the app, a lot of the time, I mean, it could be a random anomaly. And I mean, the magnetometer's not really moving around very much for all these words to be coming out. So it's a little bit odd. Guys, I'm actually excited to go home and review my footage from this one because I always, you know, get really keen to see if there's anything hidden in our footage that we missed in the moment and picked up on. I hope that you did enjoy this little episode. I mean, I really did. I enjoy these walks in the dark through nature. And although this castle wasn't here anymore, you know, it was still a cool area to explore. And I love to learn about these local legends. It does make me curious though. Do you guys have any legends near you particularly if it's one where the legend is so strong attached to a place even if the place is removed the legend remains such as here at castle blackstone now if you guys did enjoy this video though please remember to like comment share and subscribe you guys can do a little bit more reading about this haunted place or others that i visited over on amyscrypt.com you guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on facebook twitter and instagram thanks for watching crypt keepers until next time